Hello and good afternoon everyone. I am Dr. Vishal Thante at Kaminini Hospitals, Elvinagar and King Koti branch at Hyderabad. I am a card consultant cardiac surgeon here. Today we are going to speak about minimal invasive cardiac surgery. It is a new way of uh, doing cardiac surgery. Uh, not many people are trained and not many hospitals uh, gives these services. I was specifically trained in minimal invasive cardiac surgery at Liverpool Heart and Chest Hospital, Liverpool, UK. Now we always have few questions. What is minimal invasive cardiac surgery? Yes, so cardiac surgery routinely is done by splitting the sternum, heart lies just inside the chest wall behind the sternum so the uh, routine way of doing cardiac surgery is uh, through the sternum in that we cut the bone after surgery we do the surgery and put the bone together by wires so the incision is big pain is more it is sometimes it becomes very unsightly scar for young females, it becomes difficult and a social problem. For young males, sometimes uh, they lose their employment because of the obvious nature of the cardiac surgery which is seen through the scar. In minimal invasive cardiac surgery, we uh, put incisions, small incisions through left side of the chest, sometimes right side of the chest depending upon the disease and with the help of cameras and special instruments we can do this uh, surgery. Uh, in this, the pain is less. The, what are the, the second question remains? What are the advantages of uh, this uh, way of doing cardiac surgery? So, the most important advantage is the pain is less. The hospital stay is quite less than routine cardiac surgery. Uh, cosmetically the scar is better patient can resume full activity in five to seven days depending upon the uh, patient physique and his tolerance but generally patient can resume all activity within two weeks of the surgery in the conventional cardiac surgery it takes uh, around two months for patient to resume total uh, work bone takes time to heal here there is no bone cutting so it is quite uh, early they can go to work second important thing is uh, the scar is so cosmetic that it is not a problem for young females to get married few young males go back to their normal activity work and even exercise in just few weeks time so, the blood loss in this surgery is less because the cut is less. So, there are multiple uh, benefits. The most, another one of the biggest benefit is the respiratory mechanism of the patient is not deranged. If we cut a sternum, open it, the respiratory mechanism of the chest is a little bit deranged which leads to complications like pneumonia low oxygen saturation after surgery. In this surgery as respiratory mechanism of chest remain intact, this patient uh, respiratory wise remains good and healthy. So in every way, minimal invasive cardiac surgery help patient to recover early and uh, discharge early. The next question which comes to mind, why Will all cardiac surgery be done in this way? So, I can say around 50 to 70 percent patient can be chosen and be fit for cardiac surgery in this way. Not all patients are fit for cardiac surgery in this way. Uh, we have to look for his body habitus, the nature of disease, the seriousness of disease. If the uh, patient is quite obese, very obese I mean to say then it becomes difficult in this way if the heart is quite weak or if you say in eco ejection fraction is not very good then also it becomes difficult 
in emergency i don't i will not suggest this operation to be done in the emergency because then routine way is the fast and safe way to do it so mm, yes not all patient are fit for minimal invasive but still seven, uh, 50 to 70 percent of the patient depending upon their nature of disease and body habitus can be opted and can be done through this incision the next question which generally comes to mind after this is pricing yes minimal invasive cardiac surgery uh, is more expensive than routine way of uh, doing conventional way of doing cardiac surgery but it is not uh, hugely uh, expensive where people will say that no we will not go for minimal invasive cardiac surgery on the basis of cost if you see in a long term the cost of not going to work the cost of pain if you consider pain also in uh, economic terms the inactivity of patient and uh, the employment lost uh, everything will actually if it we consider it in a cost term then conventional surgery will be more expensive in that terms so cost wise yes the initial cost which we look into looks expensive but over a period of time uh, the cost is negated so i feel patient should ask for minimal invasive cardiac surgery to the surgeon whenever he sees for uh, the surgeon for surgery so the message taken here is yes cardiac surgery is being done with a small incision it is a good way of doing it and a safe as well in terms of cost benefit ratio is definitely is beneficial to go for minimal invasive if patient is fit for that so always ask your surgeon for minimal invasive cardiac surgery if you need a cardiac surgery thank you So the question here is how big is the scar after a minimal invasive operation? Yes, scar can be around 5 to 7 centimeters after minimal invasive cardiac surgery. Depending upon the body habitus, if the patient is very hefty or very fat, the scar needs to be little bigger. In a thin patient, the scar is little bit less. It can be around 5 to 6 centimeters. More than scar, it is the not to cut the bone is the main benefit so yes scar is also less but the main benefit acquired is the sternum bone which is in the middle of the heart uh, middle of the chest is not to be cut uh, second question is how is minimally invasive surgery differs different from traditional surgery so if you say inside what surgery we do is exactly the same in minimal invasive as well as open surgery what change is it is like laparoscopy when we do abdominal surgery by camera the scars is very small the patient recovery is uh, good same way here bone is not cut the scar is good and patient recovery is far better than traditional re recovery this is the main difference of minimal invasive cardiac surgery the uh, because of use of camera the magnification the clearly uh, clearance uh, clarity of the vision is far better than the naked eye so this uh, replicates or this is seen in a better uh, result in this surgery next uh, question is what is mini thoracotomy yes mini thoracotomy is operation through small incision is in the chest which is a right question uh, minimal invasive cardiac surgery is a form of mini thoracotomy where camera and uh, long instruments are used uh, next question is which specific operations can be performed through minimal invasive cardiac 
invasive incision. Most of the cardiac surgery, generally cardiac surgery are divided into few different specific surgeries like bypass surgery, valve surgery, uh, congenital surgeries like hole in heart, atrial septal defect. So, most of the adult cardiac surgery can be performed through minimal invasive cardiac surgery. The scars on left side, the left side bypass operation can be done through left side small scars whereas uh, valves like mitral valve and uh, aortic valve as well as atrial septal defect that means hole in the heart in adults can be done through the right side of the chest because the vision of valve are better from right side of the chest whereas the vessels of heart means bypass operation can be done through the left side of the chest. So, uh, valve operations, aortic valve, mitral valve, whole uh, heart, uh, hole in the heart as well as bypass operation can be done through minimal invasive cardiac surgery. If you say very congenite, very small children with multiple other problems with the heart, uh, it is not preferable to be done through minimal invasive cardiac surgery. A open traditional way is a better way to do congenital heart surgery in small children. The next question is, does minimal invasive surgery really shorten the recovery time means and mean less pain? Yes, of course. Small incisions, small risk of uh, bleeding, small risk of infection and early recovery is the benefit of uh, minimal invasive cardiac surgery. It definitely shortens the recovery time. Uh, it is simple logic like in accident when bone is cut we put plaster for 3 weeks, 4 weeks same way we cut the bone through uh, traditional incision bone takes around 2 months to heal during that period patient cannot drive, patient cannot uh, sleep on one side these are the uh, restrictions which patient has to follow in minimal invasive cardiac surgery there are no restrictions of any of this kind he can uh, do all the activities in weeks time so uh, so, definitely it shortens the stay in hospital as well as the recovery time. Are there any disadvantages to minimal invasive cardiac surgery? I will not put this question in the way of disadvantages. If the cardiac surgery was not giving result as good as open surgery, people would or surgeons would not have done this surgery. Yes, I can say that not all patients are fit for minimal invasive cardiac surgery we have to select patient sick patients or uh, emergency patients are not a good candidate for minimal invasive uh, actually we have more advantages of minimal invasive cardiac surgery but in selected patient not all patient can be done through it to say disadvantages i will say that yes it is a long learning curve for the surgeon so, it takes very long time to learn this surgery and to practice it. It needs specific instruments which are quite expensive. So, the cost of surgery goes high. So, yes, if you say disadvantage, I will say uh, cost is one of the factor, but in the long run, it, it actually negates by uh, going to work in an early fashion. Uh, next question is, when can I return to most of my normal day to day activities including driving a car? So, when after minimal invasive cardiac surgery, uh, you can go back to your work day to day basis like eating food, doing your own uh, bathing and doing daily work on yourself by 4th to 5th day means at the most 7th day of your operation. Dry, uh, depending upon the patient habitus and tolerance, he can drive car in two weeks of the time. But uh, if few patients can do it earlier than that, depends upon how patient take the surgery and how much is his pain tolerance. But most of the people in two weeks can do all his uh, normal routine uh, daily work. Dif next question is differences between open heart surgery and minimal invasive cardiac surgery. We have been discussing the differences. The main benefit is not cutting the sternum, doing it in small incisions, 
and using camera which gives you good accuracy and uh, good vision so that blood loss is less and pain is less. <coughs> uh, oh, very good important question. <coughs> what is the future of minimal invasive cardiac surgery? Yeah. Yes, as all other cardiac surgery, uh, all other uh, abdominal surgery which started with uh, open surgeries like opening the abdomen for uh, bile duct surgery, cholecystectomy, appendix and even cancer surgeries. Today, I, I think 90 to 95 of the percent of the surge abdominal surgeries are being done with laparoscopic and minimal invasive incision. Same way cardiac surgery will also is growing in that way uh, on that directions. Now most of the cardiac surgeons can do uh, minimal invasive and are offering minimal invasive cardiac surgery. Uh, so in future definitely this way of doing cardiac surgery is going to grow and I will not say that conventional cardiac surgery will simply vanish off. No, it has its own place in uh, cardiac surgery, but definitely day by day and as expertise grow and instruments improve, more people take over this uh, way of doing surgery. Cardiac surgery is going to see a big change and uh, most of the procedures will be done in minimal invasive cardiac surgery in few years time. We ourselves uh, train people in minimal invasive cardiac surgery at Kamalini Hospital and we have been doing since these things last four years. Around seven surgeons has have come and saw our technique and has uh, good hands on for this uh, uh, type of cardiac surgery. So we here in the institute promote and train people for this. So I think most of the questions are answered. Uh, I am very happy to be in front of you all people and thank you for listening to me. Take home messages whenever your relative or uh, anybody you know needs a surgery. You should al always ask the surgeon for minimal invasive cardiac surgery. If the surgeon is comfortable and uh, he accepts, uh, it is a great benefit to the patient.